Good evening, thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 14th day of March 2023. I am chair of my first major headlines. After sacking Abia Polytechnic Rector, Governor Ibazo relieves College of Health Sciences Rector of appointments. Gunmen kidnap a Cold Rivers Assembly candidate. CBM breaks silence, says old Nara notes remain legal tender till December 31st. We'll take commercials right back with details and many more. Stay connected. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermoto Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now, the details. The governor of Abia State, Dr. Okeze Victor Ibazo, has approved the immediate withdrawal of the appointment of Dr. Wamwo Alozie Kinsley as the acting rector, Abia College of Health Sciences and Management Technology, ABA, ABNTV reports. This comes barely 48 hours after sacking director of the state-owned polytechnic in ABA, Professor Okori Kalu Osonwa. Secretary to the state government, Barrister Chris Ezem, in a statement on Tuesday said, the disengagement of Dr. Kinsley is in view of subsisting security reports surrounding his appointments. The Minister of Youths and Sports, Sunday Dare, says a proposal to increase corp members' allowances is before President Muhammadu Buhari. He disclosed this in Abuja yesterday when he inaugurated a 19-man committee for the 50 years celebration of the National Youth Service Corp, NYSE. He said the management of the NYSE had sent a proposal which his ministry has taken to the president for approval. Gunmen have kidnapped the accord party candidates for the Oba Egwema Ndoni local government area constituency 2 in the River State House of Assembly for the March 18 election, Chukudi Obona. Mr. Obona was reportedly kidnapped while driving in his car at Rumibu near Port Harcourt on Monday night when the gunmen forced him to stop and whisked him away with his car. Governor Nasir Erufai of Kaduna State has challenged his predecessors in the state to come out and swear that they have never pilfered the state's treasury. He said in an interview in Aosa monitored on a local TV and radio station that his philosophy in governance was not to steal as he was aware there would be a day of reckoning. Governorship candidate of the Labour Party LP in Delta State, Ken Pella, has promised to increase the minimum wage for workers in the state to 100,000 naira if elected as governor. Pella made this promise while speaking in an interview on Channel Television's Politics Today on Monday. He also guaranteed the people of Delta the best of roads, hospitals and schools if they vote him in as their governor. Operatives of the Ogun Police Command have arrested a 33-year-old woman, a former Osai, for allegedly killing her 50-year-old landlord on Monday, Surulere Oladele, over a minor disagreement. Our correspondent reports that the suspect was arrested following a report lodged at Sango Ota Divisional Headquarters by one Olaleye Taiwo. Taiwo had reported to the police that his brother, Oladele, had a fight with his tenant over an electricity bill and in the process, the said tenant grabbed his manhood and dragged him with it. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, says the old 200 naira, 500 naira and 1000 naira notes remain legal tender until December 31st, 2023. Isa Abdullamun, CBN spokesperson, announced the development in a statement on Monday. Kaduna residents flooded commercial banks on Tuesday following the Central Bank of Nigeria's directive that old 500 naira and 1000 naira notes remain valid legal tender until December 31st. 
Many commercial banks' gates were full before 8 a.m. with customers optimistic that their sufferings have come to an end. However, Dr. Musa Yahaya, an account officer in one of the commercial banks in Kaduna, told Daily Post that the bank has no money to pay customers, adding that all the old notes we are taking to the Central Bank of Nigeria. A magistrate court sitting in Abakaliki has reportedly ordered Mr. Ike Naobona Ota of Azuoto Oumitomo, Oumitomo community in Abakaliki local government area, Eboin State, to pay the sum of 100,000 naira to Mr. Thomas Agbo as damages for stealing the later's female cow. Akwa Ibom State High Court sitting in Etinan local government area of the state has sentenced one Moses Abdon Edo aged 37 to death by hanging for killing his father Abdon Peter Edo. The court presided over by Justice Ezekiel Enang held that the convict an indigenous of Ikot Ukobo in Nsit Ubium, local government area, had confessed in his statement that he single handedly killed his father in a broad daylight on 29th July 2015 in his house and buried him beside his son's grave. While on sports, Flying Eagles head coach Ladan Boso is now focused on winning a first title at the 2023 FIFA U20 World Cup in Indonesia. The seven-time African champions fell short of adding to their title at the just-concluded Africa U20 Cup of Nations in Egypt, going home with the bronze medal. And that brings us to the end of the news at 8. But before we recap of the major headlines, after sacking Abia Polytechnic Rector, Governor Iqbal released College of Health Sciences Rector of Appointments. Gunmen kidnap a Cold Rivers Assembly candidate. CBM breaks silence, says old Naira notes remain legal tender till December 31st. For these and many more, log on to our website at www.abntv dot com dot ng you can also follow us on any of our social media platform displayed on screen have a lovely night trust i am chino my